Next, we are going to see that the unit gram sequence, that is R of n, we can represent R of n, that is equal to n for n is greater than 0. n for n is greater than 0. 0, otherwise. How we can able to represent this unit gram sequence? Here you can see that this is a y axis R of n and x axis is n value. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, right? So when n equal to 0, we will get r of n equal to 0. When n equal to 1, r of n also equal to 1. When n equal to, r of 2 also 2. When n equal to 3, r of 3 also 3. When n equal to 4, 4. This is going to be continuous. This is the rank signal. Unit impulse sequence. Unit impulse sequence, we can denote del of n del of n that is equal to 1 for n equal to 0. 0 otherwise. Only for when n equal to 0, only for this value we are getting 1. Remaining all values we are getting 0. How we can able to represent this in graphical? You can see here only for the 0 value, only for the 0 when n equal to 0, only for that we are getting the amplitude that is del of n. So remaining all values we are getting 0 even though it may be positive or it may be negative, right? This is a impulse response signal. Next properties, the first point, del of n equal to u of n minus u of n minus 1. How is u of n minus u of n minus 1 equal to del of n? That we are going to see now. So u of n, we can define that is unit sub signal equal to 1 for n, n is greater than 0. 0 otherwise, right? Similarly, u of n minus 1 also we can define u of n minus 1 equal to 1 for the value n minus 1 that should be greater than or equal to 0. It means that n should be greater than or equal to 1, right? So more than 1, 1 or more than 1, we are getting the unit step signal, right? So we can represent these two in graphical manner. So u of n that we can see here. This is the end value for 0 we are having the unit amplitude is 1, right? Here also 1, for 1 also we are getting 1. For positive and integer values, n value when you are going to consider positive integer values, for all we are getting the 1, amplitude is 1. Minus subtraction u of n minus 1, how we can able to represent? So u of n minus 1, 1 or greater than 1, right? So when the n value is 1, and greater than 1, we are getting the amplitude is 1. For when n equal to 0, we are getting 0. When n equal to 0, we are getting 0. And minus 1 also 0. And uh, minus 2 also 0. Right? Right? So when n equal to 0, the time we are getting 0. 1 and greater than 1, we are getting the unit amplitude. This is the u of n minus 1. Right? Unit amplitude x and etc. Right? Now, we are going to subtract this diagram, this graphical representation of u of n minus u of n minus 1, right? When you are going to subtract from this, so here are all integers we are having the unit amplitude is 1. Here also all integers having unit amplitude is 1. So for 0 we have 1, here for 0 is 0, right? For 0 when n equal to 0, when n equal to 0, here amplitude is 1, here 0. So 1 minus 0, we are getting 1, right? 1 minus 0, we are getting 1. For n equal to 1, here also n equal to 1, the amplitude is 1 minus 1. The amplitude is 1 minus 1, we are getting 0. When n equal to 2, when n equal to 2, here amplitude is 1, here also amplitude is 1. So 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Similarly, etc. etc. For the case of negative sign, already it is 0. Right? So del of n. That is equal to del of n. This is the unit input signal. This is satisfy the first equation del of n equal to u of n minus u of n minus 1. The second called, second property is u of n equal to summation k is equal to minus infinity to n del of k. Right? The, that is unit subsequence that is equal to k is equal to minus infinity to n del of k. So we can define, so now we can select this n equal to 0. Now we can select n equal to 0. Right? If it is 0, so this value is going to be 0, minus infinity to 0, minus infinity to 0, so some value is keeping here, I am starting from here, del of minus 3, 
and minus 2, then minus 1, then del of 0. Right? The n value is 0, the maximum value is 0, minus infinity to 0. So del of minus 3, 0. Del of minus 2, 0. Right? Del of minus 1 also 0. And del of 0 is equal to 1. So at last we will get answer is 1. So u of 0 is getting 1. Right? Now you are going to select n equal to 1. Here the summation n equal to 1. So plus uh, here minus infinity to etc etc and problem from del of minus 3 and plus del of minus 2 plus del of minus 1 plus del of 0 plus del of 1 because we are stopping when n value is going to be 1. We will get the maximum del of 1. For del of minus 3 is going to be 0. Minus 2 is going to be 0. Minus 1 is going to be 0. When del of 0 is del of 0, this is going to be 1 and del of 1 is equal to 0. By adding this, we get answer is 1. For u of 1, we are getting 1. Similarly, n equal to 2, when you are going to select, for all the negative value of del of n is going to be 0. Only del of 0 is getting 1 value. And del of 1 is 0 and del of 2 also 0. At last we get 1. Similarly, u of 3, u of 4, u of 5, etc. etc. We get all the values 1. So we can say that the given signal satisfies this equation. That is u of n equal to k is equal to summation k is equal to minus infinity to n del of k. Right. So next one is the third property. Summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n del of n minus n naught equal to x of n naught. Right? So we can able to prove this one. So here we know that uh, impulse signal del of n del of n equal to 1 for the value n equal to 0, 0 otherwise. Right? 0 otherwise. So when del of 0 only for that we are getting the amplitude. Remaining all are getting 0. Here when you are going to select here del of n minus n naught, when you are going to select n minus n naught, n equal to n naught, then it becomes del of n naught minus n naught, that is equal to del of 0, only for del of 0 you are getting the amplitude 1. Right? For del of 0 only you are getting the amplitude is 1. For all other value of n, this is going to be 0. So we can write this equation x of n naught, x of n naught into del of n naught minus n naught equal to x of n naught into n minus n naught is nothing but del of 0. Only for this value we are getting 1. Remaining all other value of del of 0 we are getting 0. So we get the answer is x of n naught. The next one is exponential sequence. Exponential sequence, so x of n equal to a power n for all value of n. x of n equal to a power n for all value of n. So based on this a value, how the graphical representation is going to be varying. For when you are going to select the a value between 0 to 1. When you are going to select the a value between 0 to 1. So here the graphical representation is going to be decaying exponential curve in the positive axis decaying exponential curve in the positive axis like this right and when the a value is greater than 1 when the a value is greater than 1 the time increasing exponential curve increasing exponential curve in the positive axis right and when the a value is between minus 1 to 0 when the a value is between minus 1 to 0 so a decaying exponential curve as well in the positive axis uh, as well as in the negative axis, right? Positive axis as well as in the negative axis, right? So zigzag. So one value is positive, next value is negative. The next value is positive, the next value is negative. The next value is positive, next value is negative. Like that zigzag, right? So when we are going to select the value of a between minus 1 to 0, here the decaying exponential curve in both sides, positive as well as the negative side, right? Then the last one is when a is less than minus 1, then it is going to be here, the end value is going to be here, right? So it's increasing exponential curve in both the sides, zigzag manner, right? One is positive, another one is negative. One is positive. 
So when the a value is we are going to select between minus one to zero, right? That time we are going to get that. So decaying exponential curve, right? In the positive axis, but here one value is positive side, the another value is negative side. Another value is positive, then negative, then positive, negative, like this. So the waveform will be like this. You get right. This is the when we are going to select the a value between minus one to zero. Similarly, when a is less than minus one. Here, then increasing exponential curve. So one is positive, another one is negative. One is positive, another one is negative. One is positive, another one is negative. Like this, you get the waveform. So this is the exponential sequence.